Hey, um, so I've been getting some questions about campaigns and I wanted to answer them with, an e with a video, not with an email. This is to avoid <laughs> answering them with emails. Um, no, what I wanted to do was, uh, I, they are covered in my Automate Your Marketing um, video quite a bit, but I wanted to have a video that's just about campaigns. We're gonna show you how to create one and how to assign them and basically go through the whole process. So let's get going. Um, you're gonna start off on the campaign page. The way that you get there is go up to the team and marketing header, and then right under here, campaigns, you click on that, it'll bring you to this page. Now these are the email campaigns that I have created. These are the email campaigns that my upline has shared with me. Very simply, if I have one that my upline member created and I don't want to reinvent the wheel, I think they did a great job. All I would do is come down here so it tells me who shared it so I can find them easily if you have a lot of them. Um, you can view it and you can take a look at what they've got in there and you can see if you like it. And if you do, you can just click this copy button and we'll give it a second. And then there it is up there, campaign test. And now it's yours. So you can take it and say like, I just wanted to change some of the messaging she had in message two. Uh, I don't want to use this template. Um, I'm going to go with something different. And then you can change it. You can say, I'm going to use this one and I'm going to update it. And now it's yours. And now it's exactly how you created it. Now you can use this campaign uh, to your heart's desire. Um, and you didn't really have to do that much work. Um, but we're gonna create one from scratch. We're just gonna do a very simple one. Um, a, a, one that's a very simple concept and I think everybody can get behind is uh, new customers. So you sign on a new customer, you wanna send them a little thank you uh, with some information in it on how to reach out to you and, uh, and the products they bought and then maybe there's some follow-ups uh, and you can decide here. So you put in a title, we're gonna call it thank you, uh, personal or shared. That's up to you. Do you want it to be just yours or do you want to share it with your downline? Um, and don't worry, you can always change this later. You just click the edit button right over here um, when you're on that part of the page and just flip it on over to shared if you change your mind. So we're going to make this one. We'll make this shared because why not? I mean, you may want to see if you like it first. That's really why you can change it. Or maybe it's like, you know, this is very personal to me and I don't think anybody needs to have this. So now we've created it. So now it exists, but there's nothing in it. So now what do we do? That's where it all starts, right? So now we're going to add a new message. The way that campaigns work is, and, and I, I want to get, get this concept across, they go out on an interval basis. So you're not saying, I want this to go out, even though um, I'm making this on March 10th, 2017. Even though I'm creating it, to, I'm assigning it to someone today, um, and I want them to get an email from me tomorrow, I'm not going to put in March 11th, because a week from now, March 11th will have passed. If we're waiting for March 11th again, it's going to be a whole year before they get an email. So we do it by day. So instead of saying, I want her to get it tomorrow, so I'm putting in March 11th, I'm I want her to get it tomorrow, so I'm putting in day one. Okay, we're going to, and then if I wanted her to get it March 13th, which is three days from now, I would say I want this to be day three. And then that way, whenever you're assigning a campaign, whenever you're assigning a campaign to somebody, it's whatever day you're starting on starts that whole cycle over again. It's intervals. So it might become, if it's not clear yet, it should be when we get done with this. So we're going to go through creating a, t a campaign. So now message title, uh, we're going to call it thank you. Uh, we'll call it welcome because it's kind of a welcome email. So this title is just what will, it, it's your reference. So this is what you call it, but it's not what your recipient will see. They will see the subject is the subject line to, to the email. So we're gonna say thank you. Yay! And we're gonna make this the day one email. So I assign it to a campaign. The next day, this is what they get from me. This email, day one. Now I wanna set the time. What time tomorrow do I want them to get it? I think morning emails are really good, either early morning or probably later in the afternoon. Um, but you have time zones and stuff. So I'm on the West Coast, so I always like to send them out early, uh, make sure people see them. And now with this one, I have some choices. So if I've created an email template, and there's a whole uh, video on how to create email templates, 
in uh, in our on our YouTube page, which is probably where you're seeing this, so you know how to get there. Uh, if you don't YouTube, uh, look for Hilo IPA, and you'll get to our channel. Um, I can choose. I have a welcome template that I have created. So by clicking this, I have to know what it's called. It does not appear in. It should not appear in this builder. Um, and the reason for that is it's a different uh, format of a template. So you do need to know what you call the templates you want to add. So I would careful what you title them, make sure that they're not too ambiguous. Um, and we're gonna show you with a template and without. So the first one I wanna send is with a template. So I'm gonna do this. I don't have to do a thing. As long as my template says everything that I want, I just, it, it just goes in here. I choose the welcome template. I put the subject, my title, a day, time, and the template, and that's it. Now I click save. I just created my first day's email in the campaign. So now, so I've just welcomed her. I just said, hey, you know, thank you for buying my products. I'm so excited to have you on board. Here's some links to my website. Here's some links to the products that you bought. You know, whatever it is that you put in that template um, that you welcome people with. And you can have these for the different products that you have. You can make a bunch of welcome templates that are welcome and then the vitamin that they bought or welcome and the, the category of regimen that they bought, whatever it is. Um, you can get as as granular as you want with that, but that's a personal choice. I just sent a general welcome email with some basic product info. So that's what this one is. Um, and now we're gonna go on to the second one. Now, if I decided I, I didn't wanna use that template, I could always click here and edit this again, and I'm editing this message. So now we're going to write one. We're gonna actually write a template into the body of this email because I don't want it to look like they're getting templates all the time. Sometimes I want it to just seem like I just sent them an email. So, and, and this is where the concept comes in. So I've welcomed them, they've had products. I probably want to check in with them in about a week. How are they doing? So I'm going to put in a uh, check-in. And the subject is going to be, um, uh, maybe it's just checking in. And I want this to go out, it's about a week. So I'm gonna say day eight. I want them to get this email from me, right? And I'm gonna choose that 7 a.m. time again. I'm not gonna use a template this time. Uh, what I am gonna do is I have some text that I've already typed out so you guys don't have to watch me type. Um, and I'm just gonna paste it right in here. Excuse me, that was just taking a second. Uh, oh, and it pasted twice. Okay, we'll get rid of that. We'll, pardon me. So we'll get rid of that. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, so when you're making, so now my text is in there. Uh, my, my text is in the body of this email right now, um, but it doesn't say to who or from who. Um, but I'm gonna do this in a dynamic way. So this is great for when you're creating uh, campaigns for yourself because you're not going to be addressing all of these. You're just going to assign the campaign and the emails are just going to go out automatically. So, but you do want to say, if you're sending it to Janine, you want to say, hi, Janine. You don't want to say, hi, whoever you are. Um, you know, you want it to be personal. So you can do that in Hilo. So we're going to type the hi part, but now I'm going to go to this replacement tags button and I'm gonna grab, see all of these say replaces your first name, replaces your personal link. Down here it says replaces the contact's first name. So by copying this funny little tag look, looking tag over here, I copy it and then I put it right after this and I say paste. I'm gonna put a comma after that and, and there you go. So now this will now say when I send it to Janine, it'll say hi Janine and then I, I'm gonna assign the same campaign to Lori. I'm gonna, it's gonna say, hi, Lori. And then when I send it to Debbie, it's gonna say, hi, Debbie. Um, it's, it's not going to, I don't have to put their names in. The system will know exactly who it's sending to based on who, uh, what the names are in the contact card when you make a contact in Hilo. Um, now I'm gonna say, who's it from? It's from me. Now, of course I could type my name in here. I could say, cheers, Nicole. Um, but what if my team starts using this? Um, I want them to inherit that. I don't wanna have to have them do extra work. I don't wanna have them forget and not realize that it's my name in there and not theirs. So let's put their name in here. 
replaces your first name. Copy that one, paste it, and now it says cheers, and then whoever is on my team that is sending this, right now it's going to say for me, whenever I send it, it's going to say cheers, Nicole. But when uh, Casey on my team signs up and she's using this and she sends this out, it's going to say cheers, Casey. Um, and so on and so on. Cheers, Lisa, and all of my other team members. So by taking that extra second to put these tags in, you actually get a lot more, well, we call it dynamic, but you, you've created a lot of flexibility. And let's face it, we've all used a template email and forgotten to change the first name to the person's, the, the recipient's real first name. And that's very embarrassing. So what I'm going to do here too is I'm going to have my first name and I'm also going to put my personal link. So replaces your personal link, right? I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that down here. You know what? I'm going to put my email too. I'm going to put my email address just so it's there. Why not? Copy it and paste it. Okay, now this will, same, same concept. So when my team member, <clears throat> when my team member Karen is on here and she's sending this out, it's going to say, cheers, Karen. And it's going to have Karen's personal email, whatever email she's signed up for in Hilo. And it will also have Karen's personal link. And no matter who on my team is using this, it will always take their personal information. And I'm going to show you in a second where to put that stuff, just so it's all in the same video. So now I've scheduled this. This is going to go out day eight, the checking in email. So now I don't have to think about it. So when I assign somebody up, I just assign them this campaign. They're going to get that template welcoming them. And in eight days, they're going to get a, a reminder from me and asking them how it's going. I'm going to do one last one. And then I'm going to show you where those tags are. And I'm going to show you how to assign this. So now we go back to the thank you campaign. We're going to add one more message to it. And this is going to be the monthly. And we're going to say, uh, we're going to say, uh, how's it going? And this one is going to be, I want this to go out on day 30. Okay? Because at the end of the month, I want to check in with her again to see how it's going with the products. Um, and you don't have to go this far. If I wanted to stop at just those two emails, I totally could. But I figured, why not? I'm here. I might as well put in the monthly check-in. So now I've got some other text that I'm going to add here. And that one pasted much faster. Um, and now I'm going to say cheers. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the replacement tags. I'm going to add my first name or my downline member's first name. I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to say hi. And I'm going to grab contacts first name, copy that, paste it there, comma, and now I'm done. Uh, the other thing I could have done, if I had a script that I wanted to add, I could just click this button and it would copy right down here. I'll actually show you that in one second. So I'm going to create this one. I'm going to leave all the other stuff off because we get it. Um, now I have the body of the email in here. This will be the third email they get. This one they'll get in 30 days. So in a month, it's going to say, hey, it's been a month already. How much are you loving the products? You're probably seeing results already, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but now those things are going out automatically. And all I have to do is remind myself to follow up with them sometime in between. If I don't get an email back from them, then I should check in again and see what's going on. But that's a more targeted response. Um, but when I, I'll show you that when I sign up for them. What I'm going to do when I sign them up for the campaign, excuse me. What I'm going to do though, I'm not going to save this message. I'm just going to show you how the scripts work in here. They work the same way they do in regular emails. Uh, follow up business opportunity. I'm just going to use that one. Uh, th this has dashes in it. This was just a placeholder because these are um, I'm available for and you fill in your time. But scripts work that way. All you do is click copy to email and they go right in. So this one had the contacts and it will paste over. So you can only do one script at a time. So this is this is uh, how you would use a script to, to fill up a campaign. So you might have sample language you use already that you can just recycle and use right in here and put it into a package with the campaign. So now that we've created our campaign, I wanna show you very quickly where you get those, so those replacement tags, the where we could put the first name, the, the personal link, 
and the email address and all of that stuff. If you go up here under this little, you might have a silhouette or your profile picture, you click my account. And uh, so all of this information in here, the, this is where you put your phone number. So this is where when you put in replace with my personal phone number, this is where your phone number, it's gonna pull this, the information, whatever is in this field. So if you don't have a phone number in there, it will be blank. Same thing, personal URL. So this is this is the URL that you would use. Um, your, if you wanted to have your address, it would be in there. So very simple, but make sure you go in and fill in those details. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how you assign a campaign. There are a couple of ways, and I'm gonna show you two of them right now. Um, so let's say for argument's sake, I had these three people I just added as customers and I'm gonna assign them to this campaign. So I can do it in bulk. I can do it like this by checking off the names. I click assign campaigns. It's already on welcome because it's the first one. It's at the top of my list. I'm gonna assign the welcome campaign and boom. Wasn't that easy. Now they are all getting those three emails on the schedule that I assigned them to. Um, they're gonna get an email from me tomorrow. They're gonna get an email from me a week from now and they're gonna get an email from me a month from now and they don't have to do anything. But what I would like to do, so this is if you're adding them uh, individually, I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna remind myself that if I don't hear back from Amy, so, oh, and here you can, you, this is the other place you can assign campaigns. You can assign them here. So you can assign the welcome campaign, but she's already got them scheduled. So this tells you when they're going out. So this is saying the welcome email she's gonna get tomorrow. The blog share, she's gonna get on this one. Oh, I assigned the wrong campaign, I guess. Uh, oh, I meant to assign thank you. Excuse me, I'm confused. You get the concept though. We'll assign thank you to her now. I'll show you the other way. So we'll assign thank you. And and there they are. So I'm sorry. So those are the ones. So she's gonna get the, uh, the welcome email uh, in the thank you campaign, go out tomorrow. She's gonna get the check-in email in a week. Um, and she's going to get the monthly check-in in the thank you campaign in a month. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and if you decided you were like, you know what, I already thanked her. I already sent her that email. I just want her to get these other two. You could just delete this. And she won't get the first one. She'll only get the second two. So, But it still saves you a lot of time and you don't have to think about it. But now, so if she's getting the email in a week, um, maybe I want to set a date to follow up with her. So today's the 10th. She's going to get that on the 18th. She's going to get that email from me. So if I don't hear back from her, I want to be reminded on the 22nd to follow up with her. So I'm going to follow up with her in 12 days. So in 12 days, she's going to show up here on my dashboard in my follow-ups. You know, it's going to remind me to follow up with Amy and it'll say scheduled because I scheduled it to come out. I didn't auto select it from the system and I didn't just randomly pick her or something like that. Um, so that's campaigns. I don't know how long this was, but I hope it was quick. I try to make these fast. Um, again, please check out our YouTube page, uh, all of the videos for lots and lots of things, pretty much everything that you can do on this site um, are posted there. YouTube is uh, Hilo IPA, and that's the same as our Facebook page. So please like our Facebook page because we post little reminders and stuff up there, and we'd love to not inundate people with email. So if I could get it out to you through social media and be less intrusive, I try. So again, it's Hilo IPA on Facebook and Hilo IPA on YouTube. Thanks so much, and you have a great day.